This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Ever thought about making a movie? Well, today I'll show you how to make a simple animation movie using an assembly file. This is Autodesk Inventor Publisher, a technology preview from Autodesk Labs. The program is designed to let you create 3D documents, perhaps for technical menus or online instructions. Let's start by opening a new document, then inserting a DWF assembly into it. To begin with, you can inspect its subassembly components, change its appearance, shading options. You could work directly with inventor parts and assemblies as well if you'd like, but DWF is a lighter file format, so you'll find it a lot easier to handle. Now, I'm going to be using only a few parts instead of the entire assembly, you know, the whole enchilada. So, I'm selecting only the ones that I need, then I'll isolate them. Now, we're ready to roll. You could also change the background color by picking a solid color or creating your own gradient shades. Here in the corner is your storyboard and your first snapshot. Think of your first default snapshot as the opening shot of your movie. Now let's start adding some movement, shall we? Right click will give you this menu where you can move the objects in a straight line or a single axis. Or you can choose to move it in all three directions any which way you want. After that, I'll make another snapshot, which will function as another keyframe. Then I'll move this part again and make yet another snapshot. Perhaps to make things interesting, I'll rotate my camera view, then add yet another snapshot. Here, I feel like adding a callout, a text pop-up if you will. Then I zoom in to show what exactly my warning text message was. At this point, we have the basic plot for a movie. No gunfight, no bloodshed, no romance. But a movie with mechanical drama nonetheless. So let's watch it. To show you what else you might do with this sequence, let's take a look at the storyboard in the detailed view. See these little clocks on each of the snapshots? Well, these define how long each shot lingers before transitioning to the next. So if you'd like to slow down to emphasize something, for example, you can change that time. You could also select a particular snapshot, activate it, which means go back to that shot, then apply a different visual style on a part to make it stand out. Now watch what happens in the replay now. If you're happy, you can now export your masterpiece as an AVI movie file, then wait for the Oscar to give you a Technical Achievement Award. Using this program, you can create complex assembly instructions or repair instructions like these. But here are a few things to note. The movements available to you are not based on your assembly mating conditions but the geometry of the parts themselves. So if you have restricted certain degrees of freedoms in your assembly file, you need to take that into consideration when you are making the animation. And because there is no collision detection, when you move a piece of solid across another, it will simply pass through. Collision detection, which is to make it a much more realistic presentation, may eventually become part of this program. But for now, you need to make sure the movements you are creating make sense and are consistent with how the assembly would work in Inventor Assembly file. Well. This may be the last video report for my virtual desktop newsletter that I filed this year, so 
In the spirit of the season, let me wish you great joy and good tidings, as I signed off one last time in 2009, as Kenneth Wong, your humble editor from Desktop Engineering Magazine. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring, snowing and blowing up bushels of fun.